Hey guys, so I am filming a impromptu video. Usually I'm always, you know, full face of makeup or filming a first impressions, but I really, really, really want to try and get this video up as soon as possible because thus is the nature of the beast that is YouTube. So Ofer Cosmetics and Jen Loves Reviews were so, so kind and sent me their new collaboration. This is what the packaging looks like. I took, sorry, my lights are kind of bright, but this is what the packaging looks like. I already took the lippies out of their packaging. These are the three shades. So they're super fun. And I was trying to decide what kind of video to film with these shades and my friend Angie here on YouTube, you guys might know her. She's like, you should take some shades that aren't tan girl friendly and show us how you transform these shades with the Jen lipsticks. So the thing is, at the end of 2019, I did quite a declutter of my lip collection and I got rid of a bunch of awful colors and things I just wasn't reaching for so a lot of my shades are like my favorite favorite lipstick shades and some quirky colors I have are from a brand I no longer support so I don't really want to include them in this video so I tried to find some wilder colors and I found these four by Colourpop so I thought these would be kind of fun to Frankenstein with the transformers i also grabbed my dear dear friend samantha march's ofer collab this is her shade story because i really wanted to compare it to jen's shade refine because honestly in the packaging they look kind of similar and i don't know if you guys support both these ladies or one of these ladies but I thought I should give you guys side-by-side -side comparisons of these, so let me do that real quick. So the first shade I'm going to swatch is Refine. It's like a beautiful mauve shade. Honestly, I would wear this as a lip color because I can wear this as a lip color. It would actually be really flattering on my skin tone. So as you can see, Jen's shade is on top. Sam's shade is on the bottom. Sam's shade it has a hint more of pink to it. Whereas Jen's has more of a purple undertone. So those are Story and Refine from Jen and Samantha March. Each of their collaborations with Ofra. So I wanted to show you guys that. I feel like I would wear Refine on its own. I've shown you kind of the swatches of that. Sorry. Jen's lip products have a slight coconut cocoa butter scent to them. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, basically here goes nothing. I'm going to use this shade. I think I'm going to use this shade because I think this would be fun to transform. So I think I'll just grab this one. But this color is a periwinkle shade called Make Believe from Colourpop. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. Oh my god. Uh, wow. <laughs> this color is a mood. I don't know what possessed me to buy this shade, but I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if I put the shade Revive with it. So let's try that first and then I'm going to try and deepen it up. Okay, this color is basically just making it lighter. So I don't think that combination is going to work. So let's try it with the shade Reimagine. I kind of went big with this color. This is Definitely not a color that we're all wearing. Now it just looks like I ate some chocolate and like... Okay, so when I use the shade Reimagine, I feel like I was able to turn it into like a gray, like a gray blue shade. So that's kind of cool. Again, I don't think I'd ever wear this shade either. And I think if I kept adding more brown, it would just keep making it darker and darker. But hey, there's people out there that are into colors like this, just because it's not my exact favorite thing doesn't mean that it's not somebody else's. So here is one of the shades that I created by pairing Colourpop's Make Believe and Reimagine by Ofra and Jen Loves Reviews. 
Okay, so the next shade I want to use is this pink one. Now, this shade is typically very terrifying for me. I think it's flattering, but I usually like to wear oranges, reds, more neutral colors. So let's see what we can do with this. This is ColourPop Good Karma. And the reason I decided to film this video without makeup on is because... I'm cleaning off my lips between each color and if I had foundation on, I feel like I would have gotten lipstick all over my foundation so I decided to just film without foundation. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. So I personally know this color is very flattering on tan skin tones. I just really don't like wearing hot pink shades on my lips so that's why I never really wear it this way but I thought by using the, the shade Refine I could change this into a more wearable pink shade, so that's what I'm going to do now. And based on Jen's advice, I'm just using a lip brush because I don't really want to mix anything in to the lipstick, like alter the shade, so I'm just going to use a lip brush because that's what Jen recommended in her video. I feel like it already toned it out quite a bit. It's so comfortable, even though I have two layers of liquid lipstick on. It's still very, very comfortable. So I was able to transform this bright pink shade with the shade Refine and make it a little bit more wearable, a little bit more toned down and mauve -y. So that is this lip combo. Let me know what you guys think about this shade. Okay, my lips are a little stained from the pink, but I hope you guys don't mind that. And now I'm gonna do my last shade and I'm honestly nervous about this color because, yikes, it's really light. <laughs> so I'm going to use for this one a Proper Beauty Lip E. Let me see which shade I want to use. Okay, I think I'm going to use the shade Focus. Now, I wear this a lot in my videos, and honestly, I love this color. It's great for my tan skin tone. So creamy. I also have an affiliate code with them, so if you want to pick these up, you can use the code KH Makeup, and that is an affiliate code, so I will make a small commission if you purchase these. But I've been wearing the three shades I have a ton, and I really like this shade. But for people that are maybe lighter than me and want to support this brand and support Jen's collab, this might be a fun way for you guys to wear these lipsticks. Now, I don't have the darkest tones by any means. I think this one is just like a very medium skin tone friendly tan color. So I'm just gonna put this on and then we're gonna try Jen's Lippy in the shade A Revive and see what kind of changes it makes to this lipstick. I did have a black lipstick that I contemplated using with this, but I thought it would be better to use like a dark brown. So that's what I'm going with. And I still have my handy dandy lip brush. Ooh, I can do like an ombre. That is so pretty. It lightened it just a little bit but nothing too crazy i just think this would be a really nice color to purchase if you are a lighter skin tone and you feel like it's really hard for you to wear brown tone nudes i think something like this would pair perfectly i even like this color it's not too too light where it looks like concealer lips whereas this shade in the tube is so intimidating because it literally looks like my skin tone on my palm which looks really scary with the skin tone on my face. If I just had, it would definitely look like I just put concealer on my lips. So this is the last lip combo. Like I said, I use the shade Focus from Propa Beauty and then the shade Revive from Jen Loves Reviews and her Ofra collab. Okay guys, so I will have all the information about the launch of this collab down in my description box. I don't have that information handy right now as I'm filming this. Final thoughts on the collaboration. I'm so happy for Jen. So glad she's partnering with Ofra. They have been known for a long, long time for their lip products. I think since the dawn of their brand, when they collabed with Kathleen Lights, I still remember her raving about Miami Heat. That's like the one shade that like got away from me because I always, always crave those rusty 
orange shades and I always wanted that color. I have tried Samantha March's lip collaborations with them last year and so I feel like I have a pretty good handle on what their formulation is like. I personally like liquid lipsticks. I don't know if that is an unpopular opinion because I know glossy lips are so in right now. Even I like comfortable glossy lipsticks but liquid lipsticks are so great because they last way longer than a gloss does and I don't know, when I'm at work, I don't want to have to think about reapplying my lip color every five minutes. I want to be able to wear it for a couple hours and then reapply if I'm going out after work or something like that. So for that reason, liquid lipsticks will always have a special place in my heart and I'm so glad that they were invented because I'm just not about the life of like reapplying liquid lipsticks. I really, really like this idea. Now, if you are just wanting to support the collaboration and you don't see yourself doing a lot of mixing, I would say skip these and definitely go for the shade Refine. This is just such a wearable everyday color and I think Jen would want you guys to have something that you would use often. And then Revive and Reimagine are definitely for people that want to play or they don't want to own a ton of different lipsticks. Now, I don't really feel like I would notice a huge difference using something like this because I did kind of pair it with the crazier colors in my collection. I think this has its place where if somebody, you know, wants to support buy all three shades, I think you would still get decent use out of this. I know for my medium to deep skin tones, you could definitely pull this color off on its own. So I love a good chocolate brown. I could definitely see myself wearing this on its own as well. So if I had to buy these shades, I would buy this one. This is Refine, which is that really beautiful mauve tone. And I would buy Reimagine because I could wear both of these on their own. I would have to skip Revive because there's no way on planet Earth that you're gonna get me to wear this on its own. But now that I'm ending this video, I just thought of one more combination that I could do which would be very similar to the one I have on my lips right now. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I kind of feel like an idiot, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the shade Reimagine. Mm, the scent is so pretty. See, I would wear this. My lip line is shot. <laughs> mm, so creamy. <gasps> I love this color. I would wear this on its own. Not gonna lie, if you buy all three and you are terrified of deep browns like this, you could grab a lip brush, do what I did with the Prop of Beauty, just lighten it up. How cool is that? I don't know why I didn't think of that. Ta-da! I hope you guys can see the difference, because I definitely can. So I'm wearing Reimagine first and then Revive on top. So that's a really decent way to buy these two shades if you are kind of freaked out by the both of them. I would definitely wear Reimagine on its own, but this one is the one I would have the least use for. So I'm glad that I can pair these two together. But overall, I think this is so fun. It was so fun to play with this and it honestly totally makes sense for Jen. Like when she did the intro to her launch video, I thought it was so cool that she showed how much mixing she really does with her lip colors. So I think that's really, really cool. And that's it. Sorry this video was kind of random and scattered, but I just thought it would be really informative for you guys to have this video up. And like I said, I will leave all the information on the product launch down below. And I will include these again in another video in the future. But since a lot of you are probably looking for information on this launch, I just wanted to hop on camera and film something really quick. So please excuse the fact that I have no other makeup on except these weird lippies. But uh, yeah, it's real life people. So welcome to the circus. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys!